in all the headlines about uh, Shell acquiring uh, BG Group, that's the big, one of the big five international oil companies acquiring uh, a company with a lot of assets, uh, especially natural gas, uh, around either in, in uh, off the coast of Africa or a share of the Petrobras uh, deep salt uh, deposits, uh, reservoirs in, in South Atlantic. Uh, with all those headlines going on, this is a huge deal, lots and lots of money involved, uh, rev will revive uh, Shell's reserve uh, growth. Uh, in all that, it's been really interesting to see almost no attention has been being paid to a series of discoveries being announced by Statoil. Statoil is the Norwegian uh, oil company, mostly owned by the Norwegian government, uh, operated largely uh, once upon a time in the North Sea, uh, has expanded from that to other regions in the world because the North Sea fields are in decline. But one of the things that happened just about a week after uh, Shell decide, announced that it was going to acquire um, BG is that Statoil announced that it had a big oil discovery off the, the coast of, of Kenya, uh, actually a big natural gas discovery there. Really, really important because one of the reasons that, that Shell is acquiring BG is because this, is a, uh, this part of the Indian Ocean uh, is a new frontier sort of for gas discovery. And it looks like now um, that there's enough gas there so they can, they, the owners of the gas can afford to build uh, big and expensive liquefied natural gas uh, processing plants and export gas from there. Uh, Statoil uh, didn't have to buy BG, but it got a discovery in this area um, that really works right into this theme. Uh, they've also announced another discovery uh, in the Arctic. Uh, Statoil, as far as I'm concerned, is probably the best operator of extreme uh, weather drilling operations in the world, uh, and they're pushing. They're continuing to push north. I mean, they're cutting their budgets like everybody else, but they seem to be getting a pretty good bang for their buck on this horizon. And the other thing is they announced another uh, discovery in the Gulf of Mexico. You put that all together, and here you've got a company which has been trying very hard to expand beyond its home base in the North Sea because of the declines in that area, showing that it's doing a pretty good job of finding new resources. Uh, Statoil is in the process of turning itself into a pretty important global player in the liquefied natural gas export, especially to Asia. Uh, the Kenya fine really plays into that. So I think here you've got a, uh, an, an oil stock that's been really crushed, uh, as oil, all oil stocks have, uh, that's showing some very interesting discovery patterns. Uh, we're not at a bottom for oil yet. I'm not sure that I'd buy Statoil here, but certainly it's a stock that I'd look at, symbol is STO in New York, stock that I'd look at uh, when indeed you feel that we're somewhere near a bottom in oil prices and oil stocks. This is Jim Jubeck for Jubeck Asset Management.